Hello and welcome to Calvary Chapel Daily Devotions. Today is the 18th of April, 2020. And this is number five in our series, talking about the events as Jesus is now resurrected, he's risen from the dead, and now he's meeting with people. Today's passage will be from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 24, verses 13 to 35. I don't have time to go through the whole passage, so I'll leave that to you, but let me point out a few things, and then we'll discuss it. In Luke 24, verse 17, as Jesus joins these two men on their way to Emmaus, he says to them, what kind of conversation is this that you have with one another as you walk and are sad? So right away, we've, we see some things. We learn that they're sad, but let's read on and we'll find out why. Then in verse 18, one of the two men is named Cleopas, and he answers Jesus and he says, Are you the only stranger in Jerusalem, and have you not known the things which happened there in these days? So the whole area was aware of what had just happened as Christ died on his cross and he was buried. And so there was a buzz going around. In verse 19, Jesus continues to ask them, what things? And they said to him, the things concerning Jesus of Nazareth, who was a prophet, mighty indeed in word before God and all the people. Notice they're speaking in past tense. They're, they speak of Jesus as who was a prophet. They don't believe he's alive. Verse 20, And how the chief priests and the ruler, rulers delivered him to be condemned to death and crucified him. Verse 21, very important, But we were hoping that it was he who was going to redeem Israel. See, they don't believe that he's alive. But you know what? Jesus did redeem Israel. In fact, the whole world. Redemption by his shed blood on the cross. And so all this is happening. Then they talk about the report of the women who came to the disciples and said, we've been to the tomb. Um, and in verse 11, I'll reflect on, it says, but their report and their words seemed to them like idle tales. That literally means nonsense. And they did not believe them. Speaking of the disciples as the women report what they've seen and heard. So there is reason to be sad here. But... The good news is, as you read the whole thing, by verse 34, they realize who Jesus is, and now they're reporting to now the 11. Uh, and it says in their report in verse 34, the Lord is risen indeed. He is risen indeed. So we can connect this with today's world right now. Right now, the whole world is a buzz about this pandemic. Just like Jerusalem and the surrounds there in this time about Christ and him crucified. It was very strange for them to, to talk to someone who didn't know what had happened. So just like today's world now, the whole world is aware of something happening. And so there could be a whole range of emotions now in every person as we experience this worldwide. We can be sad. We can be angry. We can be bitter. We can be in fear. We can be in doubt, all these things. But just like we've been speaking in this series, as we're going about our business following Jesus, doing what he's putting on our heart to do, as we are now devo devoting our lives to him in a deeper way, even moment by moment, day by day, as time goes on, as we're pressing into him and looking up in this lockdown, and seeing grace in his eyes, we can uh, allow the Holy Spirit, through the working even of the Word of God, bring now this sinus, soundness back into our lives, into our minds, into our souls, in a peace that passes understanding. So all those things can happen. But you know, uh, in world history, there's been events throughout that shakes the whole world. People get rattled. They become sad and emotional about things. I think about 9-11 in my country, where probably at that point, more people were praying in the United States than ever before. It's something to think about. But what about now, this worldwide pandemic? Eventually, we're gonna come out to 
on the other side of this. And as history always proves, people will generally go back to where they were. Uh, the scoffers will continue to scoff. The ones who put their trust in Jesus will have this growing now relationship, trusting the Lord. That's just the way life is. People will be people. But it's something to pray about. And so even for us Christ followers, I would say that the Lord is trying to get everyone's attention, including his church. So when we come through this and we're on the other side of this virus, wouldn't it be best if we allowed the Lord to do the work that he wants to do right now in our heart? So then when now we're free again to move about, that we would have this deeper relationship and uh, maybe even a deeper understanding of what he wants from us even personally. That would be my hope and my prayer for me. So this is not a waste of time. Nothing ever is with Jesus. And he has the schedule, the calendar, the diary. He's in control. And so now, uh, as the world in many ways is in a lockdown, we can say, as I'm in this lockdown, I'm going to look up. And I'm going to find grace in the eyes of my Lord once again. And I want to listen to him. And I want to be moved by him. So let that be encouraging to you. So as I'm praying for you all, I thank you that you're praying for me also. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to do another video message for Sunday morning tomorrow. We'll see how that goes. But until next time, God bless.